Jink from the Young Turks is responding to this Republican dude's silly conclusion as to why his house burned down. Now, I don't disagree with Jink's response to the dude because it's an insult to one's intelligence to say that your house burned down because there are too many trees. That's just silly. But Jink did something else in this response that I want to look at. Now, a few months ago, I played a clip of Mike Pence refusing to answer a question about climate change, you know, global warming and all that stuff. Pence was uh, very evasive, trying desperately not to answer the question. I want to turn to an interview last month Vice President Pence did, repeatedly refusing to say the climate crisis is a threat to the United States. He was interviewed by CNN's Jake Tapper. Do you think human-induced climate emergency is a threat to the United States? Well, what, what I will tell you is that we'll always follow the science on that in this administration. The science says but what, but what it we, is. But what we won't do, and the Clean Power Plan was all about that, was hamstringing uh, energy in this country, raising the costs of utility rates for working families across this country. But is it a threat? While other nations like China and India do absolutely nothing or make illusory promises decades down the road to deal with it. You know, the truth of the matter is, with the advent of yeah. natural gas, with the natural gas explosion that's developing, with clean coal technology, we're seeing, we're seeing a significant reduction but in is, carbon emissions all across this country. But is what people are calling a climate emergency, is it a threat? Do you think it's a threat? Man-made climate emergency is a threat. I, I think the answer to that is going to be based upon the science. Well, the science says yes. I'm well, asking you what you think. There's many in the science that the science community debate, in your own administration uh, yeah. at NOAA, yeah, I got uh, at the at the DNI, they all say it's a I threat. Got it. Look, what, what the but president you won't, has said, what, what we've said is that we are not going to raise utility rates. So you don't think it's a threat, is all I'm saying. You don't think it's a threat. I think we're making great progress reducing carbon emissions. America mm -hmm. has the cleanest air and water in the world. We'll continue to use it's market not true. forces. We don't have the cleanest air and water in the world. There is the vice president of the United States refusing to say climate change, that the climate crisis is a threat. Your response, Dar Jamal, as he says you have to look at the science. And after I played that, I asked us, are we any different than him? Even if we do believe in global warming, the activities that we love to partake in, our modern comforts are in the same denial that Pence has. Hey, guys. Um, so uh, we have a really interesting story that uh, goes back a while. I don't know if you guys remember this um, Oregon 11. So these are the Republican state senators in Oregon who walked out uh, to prevent a climate bill from um, coming into effect. Uh, and uh, the uh, Governor Kate Brown actually issued a, a directive for the police to go find them. Uh, they didn't have enough votes to block the climate bill, but uh, if they uh, walked out, presumably they blocked quorum. Uh, and so uh, they actually didn't want to posters on them, on everything, but they couldn't get them back in time. Session ended. So this uh, session this year in February, they tried to pass the climate bill again, um, and uh, and they walked out again and again they blocked the climate bill. Uh, so one of them was Fred uh, Girard, okay, uh, and uh, he was very proud to to block it. And in fact, he had done this whole thing where he brought in a pseudo scientist from the Heritage Foundation uh, that Trump uh, had bragged about, um, and. Um, they uh, did this hilarious hearing, uh, and and the guy said, "Oh, you know, what do you want to get taken to the hospital with? Uh, you know, a horse and buggy or an ambulance?" I'm like, first of all, that doesn't say anything about climate change. So that's a good question, though, and I don't know why you got an attitude about it. Ambulance or horse and buggy? That's a good question. It is. And it does speak to climate change. It speaks directly to climate change. Here's how. And the guy said, oh, you know, what do you want to get taken to the hospital with? Uh, you know, a horse and buggy or an ambulance? I'm like, first of all, that doesn't say anything about climate change. So, yeah, I get it. We're a modern society. I like air conditioning, too. The question is, what can we live with so that we don't burn down the planet? Not do we want to go back to horse and buggy. So, yeah. That dude's answer had everything to do with climate change. Yeah, it did. Because you love your modern trappings just like the rest of us do. While wanting people, while you want people to believe that you want to see it go. Daughter, we got you surrounded. There, 
We're in a tight spot. A while back, I was talking about the uh, blowing of smoke up one's ass over this green environment idea. And I said that if you're not talking about everybody going back to the days of the brick stove, then you're not saying much. Come on in and grab it in. And don't try nothing fancy. Your situation is putting out a hatred. Damn, we're in a tight spot. The green energy concept is better than the nuclear stuff we're on now, but only because it's not as bad as the nuclear stuff and, and the oil and other destructive energy sources we're addicted to. But it is bad, and when I look at the green concept and how it'll be done, eventually it will become the same destroying of the planet we're on course with right now. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Damn his eyes. The green machine would buy us some time, though, and time is valuable, but eventually, because we're greedy and wasteful, we'll be right back in the same spot we're in now, tearing up the environment and doing it in many different ways. And I know it sounds like it, but I'm not in opposition to the green machine. I'm not in denial of global warming and all that. It's just that I know that we're addicted to our stuff, and I don't believe that we're ready to give it up. Like Jinx said, he loves his stuff. But we're hooked on it. Junkies. And fighting it reminds me of the lady named Taryn, the heroin addict. I don't think we'll win while still being addicts at the same time. Welcome home, Taryn. Look familiar. Okay, asshole. Let's dance. <laughs> why, uh, why should we fight? We're all friends, you and I. Remember? Let's get high.